Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com and this is the energy update for all signs for Tuesday the 24th of October 2023. I hope you're doing well. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube. It's called Psychic Cafe. I give one question readings in there. Now you can book one of those one question readings on my website, BeHealing.com at any time. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too. Any pre-booked one question readings I'll do right at the start of the live show and then send you the link to the replay so you don't need to come live if you don't want to. Alternatively, you can come live, find the next show, leg in wait on my YouTube channel by clicking Be Healing down there. You can click on set a reminder or notify me, come along live and you can book while I'm live too. I also offer private readings from my website BeHealing.com as well. If you want something in more detail, check out what I've got on offer. There's a link in the description box below and also one up there too. I get them all out within 48 hours of you ordering them. I have, there are two ways in which to win a private reading with me every single month. First way is by being a subscriber to my channel, clicking like on this video and leaving a comment down there. That'll get one entry in and you can enter as many times as you like on the different videos throughout the month. The second way is by checking out my pick card reads. If you purchase one of the deeper dives, those extended readings that go with it, that'll get you entered into the second drawer. So what's in the energies for everybody today? Let's check it out. We've got memories of forgotten self and rituals and offerings. So you could be remembering stuff that you used to do. Um, it could be like remembering, I used to do write a journal every day or I used to meditate every day or it could be something about a spiritual practice or some kind of... Um, doesn't have to be a spiritual practice, but some some kind of a, a practice that you had remembering and it's like, oh yeah, I used to do that. It would be really nice for me to get back to that kind of thing. Um, something that you used to do regularly, you don't do anymore. Something that is good for you, perhaps for your mental well-being or your emotional well-being. Mischief. You might be getting up to some mischief today. Or someone else could be mischiefs, mischievous around you playful kitten kind of an energy. What else? Breathe. Yeah, I was getting like journaling or meditation, perhaps some breath work that you do, something that calms you down. It could be going for a walk in the morning or something like that. Breathe. Mm. Breath work. Do you do breath work? Let me know in the comments below. I do sometimes, especially if I'm, if I can't get off to sleep, Breath work is what does it really fast. I do some like box breathing or, you know, um, lengthening the out breath. And it doesn't take long for that to turn into a yawn and then for me to be asleep. How about you? Tell us more. What's in the energies for everybody today? We've got the Knight of Swords rushing into something. Perhaps it's just that rushing energy, in fact, and needing to calm down from that. We've got the Nine of Cups, something that you've wished for. It might not be a recent wish, it could be a long ago wish. Something's manifesting. It could be a, a wish that you made a long time ago is manifesting at the moment. You know, sometimes it takes us a long time for things to manifest because we've got to go on like a whole spiritual journey to, you know, becoming the person um, that we need to be that would have that thing or would make the right the choices to have that thing. And um, yeah, there can be all sorts. It can be a long journey because there can be all sorts involved on that journey, like um, having to heal ourselves. That can take a long time. You know, to realize things about ourselves and to, to heal ourselves. So we've got two lots of cards for the next step. So let's see what this is about. We've got the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Wands. So some kind of a fated relationship here. Doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. King of Wands, entrepreneur kind of a person. Someone is a very go-getter, very confident, strong energy. So this could be someone you're fated to work with. It could be someone that you're fated to work for. Um, someone fated to be in a romantic relationship with or just someone fated to come across them to, to learn something in your life. Next we've got the King of Cups. These King of Wands and King of Cups are coming out a lot lately. King of C Cups with a high priestess, an intuitive knowing about someone that loves you. Interesting. This could be the same person 
but they might not be. King of Wands and then King of Cups has been coming out a lot in the readings. The King of Wands first and then the King of Cups. For some, we might be meeting the wrong person before we meet the right person. You might get a job offer from someone that if you were really to think about it, they won't be the best person to work for. And then you say no to that then get a job offer from someone that would be really good to work for or you might get a love offer or be attracted to someone when and you really think about it yeah they might seem confident and all of that but not really the one to have a relationship with and then once you say no to them someone else coming along that is the right person the knight of swords but there's this rushing energy and and remember with this memories of the forgotten self and rituals and offerings and the breathe card oh there's too many there with the breathe card the, there is this, like, remember what you used to do to calm yourself down. Remember when you used to do breath work. Remember when you used to journal. Remember when you used to meditate. Um, that all of those kind of practices calm us down from this rushing energy. You know, and, and things like checking our phones and, and you know, all the, all the stuff that we've got going on around us can get us into that rush, 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 rush energy. And so we need to counterbalance that, you know, so that we've got balance. Anyway. So two voices, rushing into something, two voices, but you're not quite sure. I feel like today it's like, it's asking us to get ourselves out of that rushing energy so that we can make a clear choice on something. It feels like there could be an important decision being made today. Healing energy is behind that. So it's like healing energy. So what does that mean? Sometimes it's just to soothe ourselves and calm ourselves down. So... If you do have a decision to make, I would say like meditate, breath work, all of that thing, get yourself to a good energetic state and clarity will come from that. Nine of Cups, because something that we've wished for, the chariot is rushing our way. Again, there's a strong, fast, fast energy around this. What's behind that is changes in emotional release. So it's an emotional thing coming your way involving change something that you've wished for so yeah it could be a long time ago as well something you've been waiting for for a long time it's manifesting now the magician the fool but it requires you to take a leap of faith into the unknown so there's this feeling like um i've got a decision to make i've got to decide on this but i'm a little bit nervous about it um uh, and i'm feeling rushed and I, and if, you, if that is you today, definitely get back to those practices that you used to do. Breath work, meditation, all of that kind of thing. Calm yourself down before you make a decision. It's like something is finally showing up. There's unlimited possibilities is behind that. So something really good is showing up, but I think it has us flustered. Or it could have you flustered today. The Wheel of Fortune, the King of Wands, and then the High Priestess with the King of Cups. It might be that the exciting, the exciting opportunity that isn't what it seems to be is there's just the, the last step before the right step. It's like the final test, you know? Are you still going to say yes to this wrong thing, the thing that isn't right for you, the thing that you've learned over and over again isn't right for you? Or are you going to say no to it this time and then turn around and the right one will be there? Sun card. So the ultimate happiness is behind that. So don't make the same mistakes again if you've got the opportunity to make those same mistakes again. Um, yeah, be sure to say no to the wrong thing today. But biggest lesson here is about getting your energy to a balanced place and not feeling rushed so creativity is behind that again so it could be like working for someone it could be like about about a job or it could be about anything really it could be about romance let's see what's in our love lives today balance love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges balance a balanced relationship, huh? And, and finding balance within ourselves to get ourselves into one of those balanced relationships rather than the exciting, like the King of Wands is exciting. They're very sexy, yeah. But they're not necessarily the best people to be with, you know? Because do you want, 
once you've settled down with this person, is their energy going to be right for you? Is that the right person to settle down with? Have you got settled down energy? Probably not. Trust the universe. But if you get grounded and like do that breath work and meditation and get yourself into a balanced state, you're more likely to realize mm, this person's energy isn't like, they're not a keeper. They've not got a keeper energy, let's put it that way. Oh, what else? Daydream and self-love. Okay, so keep your self-love going, but you might be fantasizing. You might want to fantasize about or project into the future about any kind of relationship that's coming in. So what am I trying to say? Sometimes we fantasize and it's all positive and we think like the be our ideal person. But your fantasies can also be negative too. They could be real. Do you know what I mean? It's like if the wrong person comes along, you can find you can fantasize or or imagine daydream it ahead of you like you know where this is going because you've experienced this kind of thing before. So it just might be worth taking time, especially if you've got like two people in front of you, two princes before you, the one that really loves you. Fantasize about that. This the exciting one. Fantasize about that. The exciting one is going to stay exciting and excite other people too, probably. You know, we've got orgasm and falling in love. Wow. Okay. So there could be movement forward in relationships today, for sure. Especially if you find someone that kind of balances you. Okay, what else is in the energies? What, uh oh, what else is in the energies today? So many cards in this deck, it's hard to pick up. I know like the owner, you get a bag with it? No, you don't get a bag with it. I've seen people like pulling them out of a bag, but I do like to shuffle because I like flyers. But it's a hard deck to shuffle because there's so many. And I've taken some of the cards out of it too because there's the months of the year. They didn't much make sense when they fly out in these dailies. What else? What else in the energies today? There we go. Elephant. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Now, I'm getting that this is connected to the wish that you made long ago. And the journey to it has left you wiser. You could be coming to the end of that journey now and kind of be looking back and realizing all that you've been through on the way to it. And just who you've become, especially because of it all. A broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Got a bag, something important, such as a new job or raise. Some of you will be getting into new work or a promotion or something like that around this time. And a key, successful outcome to your problems. Interesting. So, so unsuccessful outcome and a successful outcome too. So it could be like double-edged kind of thing. What you wanted to happen or what you thought might be the projected outcome might not be it. We've got this dual nature today for sure going on. Definitely calm yourself down and take a step back and see the big picture in any kind of decision that you make today. Because things could go either way. Well, think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for your answer. But it's just a bit of fun because it's a general reading, not a personal reading. If you want me to pull one of these crystals out of my bag, you can book in for one of my one question readings. Um, you can do that on my website, behealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too. Um, I can also use them in private readings, of course. Look yourself in for one of those. There's a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too. How best to deal with these energies today? <clears throat> the moon. The moon is the unknown. It's about being in the mystery. It's about going with the flow. It's about internal processes. It's about being in your emotional self as well. It's the card of introspection, I would say. Yeah. 
internal processes sort yourself out internally and i think your external self your external life will sort itself out too in the right direction so think of yes or no answer question now pause the video if you're not ready for your answer your answer is no so ruby don't do it there you go thank you so much for watching don't forget to click like before you click off down there click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment because that'll get you an entry into the prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month i do one of these energy updates every single day of the year i go live three times a week in my psychic cafe show come along sometime i'd love to connect with your energy and give you a reading and i make three love pick a card reads a week as well you can check one of those out right there right now well have the best day ever i will see you guys tomorrow bye